So you all went to hear my story? Well, alright. It all started in the schoolhouse I got from my dad a few weeks ago. I was a very happy teacher back then and very popular. I started seeing the most amazing improvement skills in my teaching. Life was wonderful and treated me well. The students and my family supported me for what I wanted. They was happy to see me improve. That given my brother wanted to help out, so I asked him if he could get me some old junky arcade things from the local here town arcade that had been abandoned. No one really know why it was abandoned, but I didn't really care if it was or not. After my brother got me what I needed, I had a fantastic idea. I wanted to try computer cutting and game development over my break. I also wanted to make one of the best child games I could. It would be great and what tells me I can't do it when I'm already an inventor. So I got out my building tools and got to work on building an arcade machine. I did have to take out a few things and change the game, but after a while I did it. I then plugged up a few cords to my computer and began coding the game. It was different than what I was used to, but I got used to it. Hours went by and I was done with my arcade game masterpiece. I decided to call it Mazes and Bullies. It was called that because you would please me in traversing what seems like endless glowing green maze. You're basically going through these mazes because these creatures that look like me have stolen all my apples. You have to stop them. However, if you touch one of them, it's game. Over. This game sounded like a lot of fun. I uploaded the game into the machine and installed it in an old supply room of the school. I had to clean the place out though, I knew that. The next day I was surprised to see that after my class the students were playing the machine a lot. They were constantly paying the quarters I gave them on this arcade game. I even received good words from the kids. They really liked me after I installed the machine. They were even getting their math incorrectly and going for the machine. More and more students wanted to enroll. And more and more parents were happy their kids were passing. Days went by fast and ever day of my job was more amazing than the last. Then you're probably wondering, Baldi, if you was having the best time of your life then, what happened? Well, the truth is, I don't know. I thought everything was fine. The game was such a success that I also made cartridges for the nest. That's when things started happening, bad things. The game's music started to distort. The game made the students who played it sick and also made them hallucinate after playing for a long time. Only that people said they was having lucid nightmares about being trapped in the game and killed by these monsters. Even after they wake up, they claim to be an amazing experiencing headaches. After class, my students would be nowhere to be found. Something must be wrong with the game. I was soon after soon for making video games. I felt like the worst person finding out that my game was killing my students. Since then, I vowed to never make another arcade game again. However, it didn't feel like this nightmare was over. I have been dreaming about the game. It was still worse sometimes. I wish I have never created it. How did this happen?